It seemed a perfect symmetry that College of DuPage, home to the state's iconic junior college football program, was honored to host the inaugural Red Grange Bowl, named for the iconic Gridiron Hall of Famer, best known as the Galloping Ghost. On its opening drive, visiting Central Lakes drove down to COD's 21-yard line before the Chaparrales forced a fumble to take over possession at their own 47. COD then capitalized, driving the ball downfield on the Raiders, with Marcus Jester punching it in from the two-yard line, giving the home fans plenty to cheer about. Even though the Chaparral's two-point conversion failed, the Chaps had earned the distinction of scoring the first-ever touchdown in the Red Grange Bowl game. Central Lakes then responded in kind, driving down the field to set up a 10-yard scoring run and ensuing extra point that put the visitors on top by a point. Coach Foster then sat the defense down and reminded them of their assignment coverages. And the first quarter closed with the Raiders leading the Chaparrales 7-6. The first drive of the second quarter for Central Lakes ended in an impressive connection to wide receiver Mustafa Strong that featured an amazing 40-yard after-the-catch effort by the tough receiver as he carried tacklers on his back into the end zone to put the Raiders up 14 to six. College of DuPage then struck back, hitting on a long strike to wide receiver Darian Pollian, which set up a tremendous 20 yard scoring run by quarterback Evan Scales. College of DuPage again went for the two-point conversion, but Central Lakes defensive back Barry Moreland picked off the attempt and raced back for a 99-yard two-point conversion for the Raiders, putting them up by four at 16 to 12. On the last possession before the half, the Central Lakes quarterback tried the keeper for the first down and the Chaparral's D denied him and took over on downs. But the DuPage offense was unable to move the ball, leaving the halftime score at 16 to 12 in favor of the Raiders. At halftime, College of DuPage honored former longtime defensive coordinator Joe Roman with a plaque from the NJCAA for his induction into the NJCAA Hall of Fame. As if by special orders of the galloping ghost himself, the sun broke through the clouds at the onset of the third quarter of this tightly contested match. The Chaparral started with a promising drive, but then linebacker Jorgen Erickson put a jarring hit on the Chaps quarterback, Evan Scales, which caused a fumble that the Raiders recovered. COD's defense then returned the favor as defensive end Dwayne Hill Jr. recovered a Raiders fumble, shining the lights squarely back on College of DuPage. The Chaparral's drive stalled at the 15-yard line, but kicker Casey Bednarski booted a 21-yard field goal, drawing them to within one point at 16-15. The tough Chaparral defense controlled the rest of the third quarter, and the Chaps quarterback Evan Scales connected again with wide receiver Darian Pollian on a 45-yard bomb. The long drive culminated with a fake handoff and Evan Scales rolling in untouched for a five-yard touchdown. The Chaparrales had regained the lead for the first time since the opening quarter with a 22-16 edge on the Raiders. The teams traded turnovers, leaving the score at 22-16 Chaparrales and setting the stage for some fourth quarter dramatics. The fourth quarter saw a Raiders drive stall after failing to convert a key fourth and 29 play that turned the ball over on downs and back to the Chaparrales. The Chaps' first possession in the fourth quarter ended in a fumble on Central Lake's 40-yard line, and the light shone back on the Raiders. Oh, 
One more of those, that's all we need. Coach Foster again preaches good defense will win this game and sends his D back onto the field. The Raiders started driving, but Foster's defense again stood strong and denied the Raiders on a fourth and nine, giving the ball back to COD with seven minutes left in the game. Chaparral, take over and down. The Chaparral offense could not move on the tightening defense of the Raiders, being stopped for loss after loss. <laughs> College of DuPage punted the ball back to Central Lakes and would hope to keep the Raiders' scoreless second half offense in check. Strip it. With five minutes and 13 seconds left in the fourth quarter, the Raiders started a drive on their own 40, looking to get their offense going against the tough defense of the Chaparrales. Quarterback Mike Tveitbeck marched his Raiders up the field, moving the ball into Chaparral territory. Then Central Lakes College picked up a crucial third down and 11 from the 31. The Raiders again found themselves in another fourth down and two predicament. This time, their running back, Teddy Sherva, fights his way to gain the first down. With 48 seconds left and the Raiders sitting first and goal from the eight, the Raiders take a timeout. With the crowd now on their feet, cheering as loud as they could for a Chaparral stop, the defensive coaches are settling in for the next play. The Raiders sent wide receiver Cody Rao to the short pylon, and quarterback Mike Tveitbeck hit him for the game-tying strike with 30 seconds left in the game and an extra point away from winning this local bowl game away from its opponent. The Chaparral defense is left on the field to ponder the inevitable. But there on the field lay hope, the yellow flag for excessive celebration. Coach Foster asks that the penalty be assessed on the extra point try rather than the upcoming kickoff. After the referees sort out the details, the ball is moved back to the 18-yard line. The anxious crowd remains standing as the teams line up for the possible game-winning kick. The kick is up and goes wide left as the Chaparrales go crazy, and so does the crowd. And with 30 seconds left, the Chaparrales have life. The Chaparrales take over on their own 35-yard line, but decide to take a knee and send this game into overtime. The captains meet on the field for the overtime coin toss. The Raiders will take the first possession at the 25-yard line to see who will win this game. On third down, the pass is complete to Mustafa Strong, but as he turns to head into the end zone, he's stripped by cornerback Mitchell Bowles and inside linebacker Nick Wadsworth. The home team goes crazy. The Chaparrales take over for their turn from the 25, only needing a field goal to win. Marcus Jester carries the ball on first down for a gain of seven. Jester again on second as he breaks through the line for a big gain just short of pay dirt. First down, the Raiders stuff Jester back to the five. Second down, scales the keeper down to the two. Third down and goal from the four, the Raiders stuff Jester back to the five. After a sideline discussion, coach Matt Foster sends kicker Casey Bednarski in to attempt the game-winning kick. The Raiders call their timeout. With the galloping ghost surely looking down on Bob McDougal Field, the snap is back and the kick is up and your chaparrales of College of DuPage win the inaugural Red Grange Bowl game. Thank you. 
The dramatic victory by College of DuPage in the first Red Grange Bowl was nothing short of a classic, which truly describes the legacy of Red Grange, the Galloping Ghost.